Hey guys, welcome to yet another session of Let's Analyze and let's jump in. So here in this video, I'm going to explain about the gradient descent algorithm from scratch. So as you can see this uh, picture in which from the red part, we are going to achieve the blue part, which is the minima of any algorithm, which is the error. Like J of theta represents the error here and uh, we gonna reach the minima of the error and make our machine learning algorithm more accurate and less biased. So for the FBQs part, in this channel you can ask your doubts about statistical topics, data science related topics, Python programming or competitive programming doubts and I'll be more than happy to make a video on it. So what is this man doing here? He is snowboarding and I use this analogy in this video to explain how we can alter the learning rate and see what's the effect of the learning rate, how he reaches the minima that is this point. So if he goes very slow, so he'll come here, come here on the left side and uh, slowly, slowly he'll reach here. And if he's too curious, too fast, then he'll converge like this, this 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 and finally reach the midpoint with minima point which is also called the convergence point moving on i'm gonna explain the code in the collab notebook i'll be sharing the collab notebook down there in the description and uh, as we begin we import the numpy library and the matplotlib library matplotlib is a library for visualization and numpy is for numerical computations so in gradient descent we basically have a polynomial function which we are going to examine for the minimum error rate so we have defined a function as as f of x it's it's going to take a value x and return a value y which is this value you can take any function whichever suits your algorithm and uh, define the function here in terms of x so in this video i'll be telling you how to compute the slope how to vary the learning rate to find the best solution and uh, and find the minimum point so there would this would be done in three parts we will choose some random random points x naught for instance i have taken four random points here like this and we're gonna iterate over those and find the nearest minima to that that is the local minima and then compute the slope and then improve the value of x so how gradient descent works it generally what it does is it follows this equation which is x1 is equals to x0 minus learning rate into f dash x what is this this is finding the new x value from the old x value and the slope learning rate into the slope so these two factors would come again and again and i'll explain how so what do you think about the slope of this man here you can check that the slope of the curve here is positive and he wants to come to the minima so you can imagine you sitting on a slide which is like this the slope is positive you'll go you'll come down on the left so whenever the slope is positive you're gonna shift to the left and whenever the slope is negative like this you're gonna shift to the right so this is the basic thing which we use in this algorithm and it refers to the f dash x which is the slope of the equation so learning rate is just a parameter how fast the user learns the gradient descends as the name suggests the gradient is descending so how fast it descends is the learning rate we will be finding the minima we'll be experimenting with the values of the learning rate as low as 0 0.01 as high as 10 so and finding the number of iterations which is the most optimal so here i'm gonna define a derivative function df of x which uh, is simply the like you can uh, follow the steps as dy by dx you, you should be a little bit familiar with calculus for this video and uh, don't worry 
it's a small thing i have differentiated this equation f of x and uh, just computed manually this won't be a problem so jumping further this is just a, a check, check code in which i find the slope as df of x of 0 and print the slope which turns out to be minus 5 for the starting point i chose a learning rate which turns out to be optimal and i'll explain how to vary it how to optimize it and how to automate to get the best learning rate out of it so here i have plotted the equation how it comes in the matplotlib library as you can see is i have iterated from minus 8 to 9.5 with a difference of 0.1 so how do we do that i wanted the, the range of values of y from minus 8 x is equals to minus 8 to x is equals to 9.5 how it corresponds to the y with a difference of delta x is equals to 0.1 i have used this function and p dot arrange so that we can iterate over the x values every time we find the y values append it in a list and then plot it using the matplotlib function plt dot plot x comma y which will just plot the two line to list and uh, we'll get a function like this here we can observe that we have two minimas so for this point local minima is this for this point local minima is this global minima is this point so sometimes what it does is kidney descent has this problem this just the one problem is that when it comes to the local minima it stays there it stays there it doesn't worry about the global minima it just finds it comfortable spot <laughs> just like it so here i have plotted four values here in which we are going to find the best value like uh, from start these are the starting points i'll iterate over this to reach this minima i'll iterate over this to reach this minima from this to this minima and from this point to this minima notice the values of slopes here here the slope is very high here it's uh, kind of little bit higher than this side and it's quite high here also at the convergence point at the minima the slope is very low so these things we are going to talk about and i'll explain how i plotted this curve using matplotlib so for every point in x i'll just i'll just uh, do plt dot plot and give it a color so that it looks nice ro means red object o means a dot it used to place you if you will do a plus here it r plus it would appear as r plus so get your hands dirty on the code and you will get with get the essence of the code better so in the second part we are going to iterate as you can see in this plot we are reaching the globe local minima using this point which is x of 0 with a learning rate of 0 0.2 as we defined earlier i'm gonna make the number of iterations at 0 in the beginning and plot the starting point which is this point so we'll run in a while loop for a certain number of times until we reach the convergence point now how do you know that this is the convergence point what you can observe in the graph is at this point between 5 to 7.5 values of x we can see that y is not varying much so the value of the new y and the old y the difference between them is very less so we'll use this fact to determine the exit condition and move forward so we will uh, use the equation of the gradient descent which is x nu is equals to x naught minus learning rate into differential of x naught so why do we use this function so as i explained you that when the slope is positive you are going to go to the life, left so when the slope would be positive we'll decrement it so you can see learning rate is always positive obviously and uh, we'll decrement the this value from x so we are going to the left and if the if the derivative is negative like in this case the derivative is negative in this plot 
so you can see that we will be increasing the value of x as you can see the values of x are increasing so we are using this analogy and predicting the next or maybe i can say that uh, iterating over the next value and finding the value of y nu as f of x nu and plotting it using the red object using matplotlib incrementing the iterations and when the value absolute difference you have to use the absolute difference here because if it goes to the right it should uh, find that the difference is again increasing so we'll use the absolute value and when the absolute value is less than is equals to 0 0.01 we'll come out of the loop and uh, we'll get this plot and for the next value for the other values here we observe something different so when i chose this value x is equals to like 9.8 or 10 we found that uh, there is a huge gap in x1 and x2 so why do we see this because the derivative is very huge here the slope is very high and it learns quickly here so this factor would be high so we'll jump quickly so we'll go here and uh, then we'll go uh, further you jump and then small jumps or small next eight jumps are there so you can observe that number of iterations are 10 here number of iterations in the previous problem was 28 because the slope was less here the slope is quite high so it took only two iterations in the beginning so you can check that uh, we are going much faster in this using 10 iterations of love with a learning rate of 0.2 and exactly same code is there i just copy it and paste it the previous cell and uh, change the value of x is equals to x1 of 1 if you're wondering why it's green so i've given it as go means green object as we move further if you want to find the minima value like you know you want to you want to know what at what point is the minima at what point your machine learning algorithm is performing the best so you will just uh, simply print out the values after the iteration is done and it would print out uh, your minimum value which is in this case x is equals to 6.21 which is like here and y is equals to you can see it's uh, more than one but less than two 1.45 so moving forward to the third one so here same thing is done again green object and uh, another point i have taken i am doing it for four points notice that it didn't go to the right it went to the left because the slope is negative sorry it's the slope is positive i'm sorry for so the slope was positive so it moved to the left and it found the convergence point now here again the slope is negative it will go to the right and it will find the convergence point here between x is equals to minus 7.5 and something like x is equals to minus 6.5 the values are the value of the slope is quite high so it converges faster so the third value is also covered like that now we move to the main part so you are wondering why i chose the learning rate of 0.2 actually i iterated at quite a lot of times and found out that this was the working best working learning rate so far so i'll show you how choosing a very low learning rate and how choosing a very high learning rate affects your algorithm to find the local minima in this value if the learning rate is 0 0.01 so you can see that the number of iterations has increased to 528 it will still converge to the point but when after a over so it's like that when you have a brick problem it will take a lot of time to converge and that's why we don't prefer too low learning rate and too high learning rate so i'll explain why we don't want that so in this prop in this problem when there is a very low learning rate we find that it uh, converges using a very high number of iterations and uh, similarly when i increase the learning rate in the next experiment by one two one so you can see here the iterations reduced to seven 
In the original with learning rate is equals to 0.2, it was 28 iterations. When the learning rate was too low, as low as 0.01, it was 528. And when the learning rate is like little bit high, so it's 7, but it still does the work. So on the next step, we, are, we increase the learning rate too huge for it to fit the model. Learning rate is 10. Now on this scale of x is equals to minus 7.5 to 10, you don't want to plot the value with a very high learning rate. So what it does is every time you iterate over it, maybe some points might fall into the track, but actually the problem is you won't converge. It would go to left or to right. So like this, uh, I iterated for five iterations with a learning rate of 10 and I came out of the loop when the iterations is five. First for an experiment, I knew this would not fit. So I didn't plot all, all of them. I've commented out this line. So you can check out. If you will uncomment it, it would give an error because it won't fit the frame. As you can see in the next iteration only, it went out the frame and it was minus 13, which is quite on the left side, which we don't have. And 123 is just very high. Again, the value, the learning rate was too high. So it, it saw that the values are on the left, too much on the left. So it kind of wanted to may uh, come on the right side so it came to 401 so you can see that too much randomness is there too much entropy is there you want to reduce the entropy so it won't work like this if the learning rate is too high so that's what i wanted to show so here we observed that we could not find a solution with fairly high learning rate and we exceeded the limits with a too high learning rate and with too low learning rate take takes time so what do you need you want to if you want to automate this process you can run it in a loop uh, or give a list uh, of learning rates like uh, LR list is equals to whatever learning rates you want at 0 0.1 0 0.2 comma 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and so on and uh, you can find that this would help you iterate over all the learning rates and find the best optimal. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to Let's Analyze for quality content and educational tutorials.